On 5 Farley here, it's bright and early January 16th, college basketball best bet for you. I'm uh, going to break down SEC game here in just one second. Um, off a winning day yesterday, good day overall, but uh, unfortunately, daily best bet did not come through, so that ends, uh, uh, doesn't get a three-game winning streak. Let's see if we can start one here on this Saturday. So, um, big, big, big slate today. I'm going to be a little more picky on the games that... Uh, we select uh, when it comes to uh, making plays. A lot of rematches, a lot of uh, games that were played yesterday or the day before, and they're circling back to play those same teams again. So make sure you check on uh, which side the totals are on, which side the uh, sides are on when it comes to the spread, because uh, often they're bouncing back the other way. Um, one thing I've noticed, a uh, just a little quick insight, with smaller schools, smaller games that are not giving it, getting as much action, we're seeing the line move in the opposite direction of the previous game, and that has won quite a bit. It's been an indicator of which way the second game is going to go. So if we had a uh, two teams blast over the total, and then uh, the second game it's getting bet down, those games aren't getting as much public action. It's a lot more sharp action. Not as many teams are as interested in a, in a Mississippi Valley State versus an uh, uh, you know, an Alcorn State or something like that. Um, so you're getting some some people with some bigger money putting money in on a side or a total, and it's moving that line. So something to be aware of. If you're seeing line movement on some of those smaller school games, they seem to be a pretty good indicator of which way that game is going to be going, just an FYI. It's not, not bulletproof, um, but it has been working here over the last couple weeks. So uh, something, to, something to keep an eye out for. All right, now let's talk... Uh, all plays posted on patreon.com slash five Farley. Let's get into the daily best bet. Okay, so this one I had circled for a while. In fact, I mentioned this in uh, uh, my, a previous daily best bet earlier this week uh, when Arkansas is going to be going against Alabama. Um, and I was set to take this over before I even saw the total, um, which is not a smart thing to do, by the way. Uh, but now that I see the total, this the, it moves it into the daily best bet. I'm looking at the SEC, and I kind of see two categories of teams when it comes to um, totals. You, you have your slower-paced teams, your Tennessee, Kentucky, um, uh, Ole Miss, Florida, um, those te South Carolina. Those teams play slower tempos and not quite as sharp and as potent on offense. And we're typically finding t games fall under the 150 mark, a lot of them under the 140 mark. Uh, then you have your other set of teams that are for more fast-paced, offensive-oriented, some really good shooters on those teams. They can force offensive points. Um, that's your Alabama, LSU, Auburn, um, you could throw Georgia and Missouri in there. They're more on the bottom side of that. Um, but really, LSU, Alabama, Arkansas, um, Auburn. And when those teams get together, same thing happens on the other side with the, the under the total. But when those, those top teams get together, we're seeing the totals almost always go above 160. 160 is my basement for those teams. Um, Arkansas, when they played Auburn, they landed, what, at 182? When they played LSU, they land at 168. Uh, Georgia was another 168. Um, let's flip over to Alabama. They played Auburn. It was 184. When they played, oh, that's the only up-tempo team they've played so far in conference. Um, you'll see something different, though, when they play a Tennessee or a Mississippi. Those teams are a much slower tempo, much more defensive-oriented. However, when you get those two fast tempo teams together. In fact, when we look at Alabama and, and Arkansas, when it comes to the top 50 teams, these are two of the fastest paced teams in all of college basketball in the top 50. Um, Arkansas at number 34, uh, tempo rank is 20th uh, in, in all of college basketball. And then Alabama's is 16th in all of college basketball. So the only one higher than them, of course, is Gonzaga. Um, but when you look at the top 50, there is not a single, not a single team that are as fast as tempoed as both Alabama and Arkansas. And here we have them playing each other today. I think this is again the basement I would have for this total would be 160, and it's at 161 and a half. <clears throat> I'll risk the one and a half points. 
um, because I don't see any other way. I think this game lands in the 170 plus. Um, So I think we have a great position to win some money on taking Alabama, Arkansas over the 161 and a half. There you go. Best bet of the day. Alabama, Arkansas, over the total. Good luck, everyone. We'll see you again soon.